squat day has arrived, which is very exciting. A little later than normal today. I feel like that's the opposite of what I typically say. Check the view. Still pretty nice. Car going by. Chrysler 300. Very nice. Uh, got to check the weight now. So whatever the weight is, you know, you could sub subtract roughly three pounds. And that's probably more than likely the uh, accurate weight. Got to sneeze. <coughs> Apologize for that. Maybe I'll cut that out of the video. So yeah, shoes, clothes. Could be more than three pounds, but that's what we'll say it is for today. Ooh. Okay. These shoes just take a while to put on. So I'm not going to take them off. 210.6. Okay. Nice. All right. Again, you know, subtract some weight for uh, clothes and shoes, but... That's a PR irregardless of all that. So, yeah, that's cool. Finally, uh, not incredibly far away from 220. So, could probably guesstimate 204, 205 in the morning, something like that. Take off like five or six pounds. So, yeah, cool stuff. All right, uh, let me show you what we're doing for the uh, workout. The workout plan, day 136, got the body weight there. Like I said, minus three-ish, could be more. For uh, clothes and shoes, you know, three, three to four, four and a half, something like that, you know, and then you take another, you know, pound and a half maybe for food, but that can, that can vary. Um, some people, you know, weigh slightly less at the end of the day. I mean, everyone's different. So we're uh, starting off with the squats, 365, eight plus front squats, 275, six plus single leg calves. We're going to crush those. And then probably the forearms will save for tomorrow, chest and tries, because I have a little more time for chest and tries. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, next thing you'll see is 365, hopefully for 10. Alright, back squats felt excellent. Uh, felt like I could have kept that pace probably to eight reps, but I just you know wanted to focus on the quads, keep the lower back out of it. So the breathing actually felt really good, even even on the uh, last rep. Felt like maybe eleven might have been there, but I'll take ten, feeling like solid, you know, decent speed on the way up. Uh, I've never done that before, so super super excited about that. Squats are, are starting to move in the right direction. I think I think my mistake was trying that 405 a little too early and it just kind of slowed things down. I didn't trust the process and uh, you know stay in it until I was in a good rep range. So we're gonna stay at 365 for another week or two at least, get a little more comfortable, maybe try and crank out 11, 12, um, and then we'll bump up to 405. But now we got the front squats, squats. Hopefully repeat last week six, maybe more. I rested um, a good amount, not not crazy, maybe like three or four minutes, but definitely more than more than I typically would between sets, in hopes that that will allow me to get you know another another rep or two. But we'll see. And I switched out the bar. I'm not I'm not trying with the uh, fat bar anymore. It's great for squats because it doesn't bend. Um, this bar bends when you squat over like three. 15 with it, so front squats is fine. All right, six to eight, we'll see. 
hoping for eight. Hoping for eight. So I'm going to get three sets <clears throat> calf raises and uh, I meant to try those seated ones today. <sighs> Maybe I'll try some of those. We'll get like two sets of these and then try some of the seated ones somebody recommended with the barbell. Give that a try. But yeah, these, <sighs> honestly I'm not even sure if that was 20. These will crush. crush for uh, probably two sets, 15 and 20. Workout felt really solid today, especially those back squats. The front squats, you know, it's after a close to max effort squat set, so, you know, I'm not hoping for as much intensity because I'm already tired, <sighs> but I still want to progress that. You know, if I could be doing 10 reps with that 275 eventually, that would be excellent. Um, so we'll just keep working at it. Yeah, that back squat. You know how you just, you're working at something, you're working at something and it just feels tough, tough, tough. And then it just like locks in one day. That was, that was how it felt today. I mean, it felt pretty good last week, but today it felt almost like 315 or 335. It felt significantly lighter, moved much better. And maybe that's the extra body weight. Um, you know, because it'd be 207.6. And I know my reps probably weren't even on that, but it's all right. Yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly what I weighed. I want to say I was 205 or 206 maybe with shoes. So that's like, with shoes and sweatshirts, that's like four pounds difference. So um, maybe that helped. More meals than last week for squat day. So again, that probably helped. A little more time for the caffeine to kick in. You know, all those things leading up to the workout, um, they make a big difference. You know, especially as you start to get closer to like, or, or if you're working towards new territory. You know, if I was just gonna do 315 for 10, I could miss a meal, not sleep well, not caffeinate, I'd be fine. But if I'm trying to go for something I've never done before, you wanna, you know, do your homework, do everything you need to do to prepare for that. Give yourself the best shot. You'll also have the best mental approach when you get there, you know, when you get to the, the 365, like when I got to it today, I just felt like it's gonna happen. You know, previous workouts, I uh, can't always say that. It's been like, ah, well maybe, you know, <laughs> um, maybe it'll happen, maybe not. This time it was like, no, today, today is the day. So we got it done. Um, you know, might be a small milestone for someone, but for me, I was, I was pretty fired up about it. So, um, next I'm going to try those, uh, barbell seated calf raises. Hopefully I don't mess them up. I'm tuning. Um, if anybody has any thoughts on how I can make this better, I mean, wait till you see me demo it and then you can, uh, comment or critique. I think if I had something slightly smaller height wise, that'd be better, but this cinder block was easy to move from outside. So I'm going to go with it for today. Uh, we'll just we'll probably just do a good set of like 50. Oops, a little safety thing came off there. Ah, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. All right, 
tried it with uh, no weight, and obviously that worked fine. Back a little bit. I feel like this will work. But you know what? Move my feet forward. Slide this forward. And I just gotta kind of roll it forward, but it works. You know, now we're on the edge. And it's like some some Graston rolling. Grafton? Graston? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this will work. Feels moderately okay on the top of the quads. Nothing terrible. I mean, honestly, when you're doing a seated cap race, the uh, pad kind of digs in anyway. So, this is good though. I haven't seen a cap race in four years. It used to be one of my favorite machines, that and the standing cap race. I would just do 10 or 15 minutes at the beginning of like every workout and just absolutely destroy them. Yeah, this works. Moves around a little bit and kind of hits the edge if you're in balance. <clears throat> yeah, I think smaller, maybe I'll have a two by four out there. I can cut in half, that'll probably be perfect. Yeah, we're getting a little burn going. All right, we'll just hold and stretch. This is a good way to tear up the calves. There we go. Oh, uh, 80s trivia. Woo. All right, that was good. In Rambo 2, what was John Rambo's most destructive weapon? He had a couple different weapons, but there's one in particular that did the most carnage by far. And the helicopter does not count because that wasn't his weapon, that was the Russians' weapon, or whoever, whoever they were. Um, yeah, so we'll probably give it like 20, 30 seconds. I want to get one more set of these because the calves are feeling pretty good actually. Thank you very much for making this suggestion. Um, you know who you are, I can't remember exactly the username at this moment, but there's one specific person who recommended doing this approach because there was a video I posted where I was like, hey, I need, I need to do something else for calves because they're kind of languishing. Just the single leg ones are fine, but I don't know, like once a week, single leg calf raises for two or three sets, like that's, that's not going to grow them. That might keep them, you know, steady, but you're not going to get any big growth from that. All right. <clears throat> Going forward, rolling over the edge, ah, a little swimming. All right. I wasn't a huge fan of Last Blood. I don't know why, it just felt kind of rushed. And I really liked Rambo, like Rambo 4, where he's in Burma there fighting. Lots of destruction. I thought that was one of the better Rambo movies, actually. Um, and Last Blood, I mean, I was excited because it was another Rambo movie, but just, I don't know, didn't live up to what I was hoping it would. Just my opinion. There was a lot of destruction in battle scenes, of course, but. All right, we need a couple more here. I wonder if they're gonna make another. They made, I guess technically, nine Rocky movies, if you count Creed three, even though he wasn't in it. Okay, all right. Pretty decent burn there. A um, little bit of tweaking, a little bit of form adjustment, and I think we'll have a winner. That is it for today's video. Um, like I said, I'm pretty fired up about the squats, so next week we'll crush it even more. Tomorrow, chest tries, a little bit of forms, and yeah, the weight probably down a little bit just because of the schedule of work. You know, um, I'll still get the meals in, but Monday just always knocks the weight down a little bit, so I'll try and offset that by getting a lot of calories in today. Keep, keep myself around that. 207.6 with no shoes, nobody. <sighs> All right, yeah, that's it for today. Any uh, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to post them below. I appreciate the support, as always. Um, 
I would have done that day of eating. Like I said, I just don't want to rush that. Um, I want to make sure I do a good video when I do do it. I found an easier way to edit videos, so that might help the day of eating get released sooner. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the uh, weekend, the few hours that remain. Pitch black here per usual, but it's definitely going in the right direction now that we're past that December 21st mark. Doesn't feel like it yet. It'll take another couple weeks before it starts to feel like it's actually getting lighter out. Um, yeah, no moon either. All right, enough, uh, enough of that. See you tomorrow um, for uh, chest and triceps. Might go to 245 on the uh, incline. That would be kind of a step up, but we'll see. We'll see how things feel. All right, peace.